This the place you're a regular at? Yep. It's just you. <laughs> yeah, such great customer service, huh? No wonder this place is always empty. This place? I only run it for fun. Kind of prefer it empty, in fact. <laughs> Bullshit. Hey there, Dachi-san. Hey, Iroha-chan. Who are your friends? Some guests of mine. Kasuga and Namba. Hey. You never bring anyone with you. In fact, is this a first? Uh, I guess it is, now that you mention it. That must mean you actually like them, huh? <laughs> Hell no. You wouldn't catch me hanging with these knuckleheads unless I had to. <laughs> you're so cute when you're embarrassed. Uh, <laughs> give me a break. Anyway, listen. I've got a request. Hang on. Let me guess. You want me to add their drinks on your tab. <laughs> oh, you know me so well. Uh, you mind, though? I promise I'll make them come back as paying customers. Oh, good grief. You really an ex-cop? <sighs> you win this time. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, let's get to drinking. Hey, what's up with Namba? We barely get started and he passes out? He's probably just tired. Can't blame him after everything we did today. Tomorrow's only gonna be worse. Well, you know, for some reason, being around you makes it feel like it'll work itself out. Oh yeah? Now, you must be pretty wasted if you're handing out compliments. But I'll take it. <laughs> Ha! I'm barely even feeling a buzz. Oh, he's drunk all right. Drunk on the rush of a hot and steamy friendship. <laughs> Iroha-chan. That was two feet over the line, and you know it. Don't poke an old bear, huh? <laughs> Listen. Yo, Adachi-san. What's that you're drinking? <laughs> hey, keep it down, will ya? Why? Oh, is that convenience store sake? Shh, you don't have to announce it to everyone and their mother. You brought your own drink to a bar? Hell yeah! Cost an arm and a leg to get a good buzz going here. That's why I got this little lovely at a store down the street. <laughs> you ought to do the same. Show your wallet some tender love and care. Nah, I just order a drink from the bar, even if it meant going into debt. You'd go into debt just for a drink? Hey, it's not just a drink, it's an experience. It's a chance to indulge and just let it all out, you know? Hell, you never know when a drink might change your life. It might lead you to your soulmate. And I say, the guy behind the bar who's helping provide the space for that, that guy deserves some fat stacks. Well, you sure are a nice guy, Kasuga. Well, maybe I should take your advice. Actually, no. If I go into debt, I won't pass my background check. <laughs> hey, here's a solution. I'll buy you a drink. Hey, thanks. Speaking of money, what they did to you was fucked up, man. Discharge right before your retirement? Ah, it ain't so bad. At least I get to know I was canned for sticking it to fucking Horonouchi. My opinion? That's better than just staying on the force and turning a blind eye. Let me see if I remember this correctly. You and Hori no Uchi first crossed paths during a case 20 years ago. Yeah, it was a nasty one. 
Robbery and double homicide of some sweet old couple. My team found a suspect and made an arrest. Man by the name of Kasumi. He had a mile-long rap sheet. Burglaries and shit. Plus, he had no alibi for the time of the murder. But in the end, he was innocent. Yeah. I finally figured that out from his son. His son? Kasumi had a wife and kid. The kid was five years old at the time. His name was Takashi. The little guy told us he'd been on a walk with his dad at the time the homicides were committed. Of course, there's always a chance that the relatives will lie in the hope of saving their family. So HQ was prepared to ignore Takashi's testimony. I was too at first. But the more time that passed, my thoughts kept coming back around to what the little boy said. And even after Kusumi was arrested, I kept looking into it. I finally found the owner of a cigarette shop, who told me he saw Kasumi walking with Takashi at the time of the crime. Takashi's testimony was legit all along. I contacted HQ right away and requested Kasumi's release. But Horu no Uchi made sure it never happened. And he was able to do that because he was top dog at the Kanagawa police back then, right? Yeah. And don't forget, he'd just been offered a job with the Tokyo police, so... He was desperate to cover up any recent blunders like a wrongful arrest. He shipped poor Kasumi off to prison, knowing full well the man was innocent. Next thing I know, Kasumi's killed himself in his cell. So Horinouchi was willing to sacrifice people's lives just to advance his own career. Yeah, I'm starting to understand why you got so much beef with him. Uh, I got beef with myself, too. I'm partly responsible for what happened. If only I'd believed Takashi's testimony from the start, the arrest wouldn't have happened in the first place. You don't know that for sure. No one else believed the testimony either. Yeah, but I'm the one who interviewed the kid. Let me tell you, even after all this time, I still can't forget his face. Man. But couldn't you have just leaked the fact the charges were false? You know, to the news? I gotta assume that'd be your way of atoning for Takashi-kun, right? <laughs> You're not as dumb as you look, Kasuga. That's exactly what I thought at the time. But I screwed it up. Didn't choose the right people to leak to, so... I got swept off to the license center faster than the leak got swept under the rug. Worst fuck-up of my life. Don't be so hard on yourself, Adachi-san. Sorry. Really killed the mood, didn't I? <laughs> it's okay. A true friend doesn't care how many moods you kill. <laughs> You know, for an ex-Yakuza, you can say some cheesy shit, but it's sweet. What do you mean by that? Yakuza's all about brotherhood. Well, all I know is if I'd had a brother like you on the force with me, my life might have turned out different. Ah, but if the cops were anything like me, this whole country would be fucked sideways by now. <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> you weren't supposed to agree with that. <laughs> Anyway, let's have another drink. On you, if you don't mind. Fine. Hey, bartender, can we get another round? <laughs> well, it's about that time, I guess. Aw, leaving already? Sorry, Iroha-chan. We got a big day tomorrow. Yo, Namba. You gonna crash on the bar or you wanna head back? <laughs> I like the vibe of this place, though. Me coming back is another thing you can count on. Sure. Make yourself at home. <laughs> Nobody else does. And listen. Take care of him. Sorry? Let's just say he's not usually a happy drunk. I guess that means he has a soft spot for you guys. Oh, really? Oh yeah, I know the guy. He's a good for nothing, but he's good at heart too. So keep your friends close, you hear? I can do that. Hey, Kasuga! What's the holdup? Let's go! Oh, sorry! Well, see you later. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Thank <laughs> you. 
いらっしゃい。ありがとう。
On to the next bathroom! You're even slower than yesterday! I'm going! I'm sorry! Are you okay? Hey, watch where you're going, janitor!
Hello, Director. The woman's father. His name's Tatsuro Mokoda, correct? Understood. I'll carry it out immediately. Yes. Don't worry. Yes, he's out like a light. General Anesthesia. Here we go. You know, most people hope and pray that they'll die in their sleep. You're one of the lucky ones who actually gets to do it. Stop! Who are you? How did you get in here? Koda. This is Nanoha's dad for sure. Sir, wake up. Let's get you out of here. Waste any time. What are you doing here? Contractors aren't allowed. Explain yourselves now. And hey, calm down. Can't you recognize your own uniform? Give me a break. You're not one of us. No, we aren't. Because you're not nursing home guards. Not with that kind of weaponry. I bet you've got a lot of ink underneath those uniforms since you're from the Seiryu clan. Huh. So, you did your homework. We know everything, man. Even what the Seiryu clan has been doing in this room. Well, good. That makes our decision easy. We'll have to kill you and the patient! Mission apparent. Okay. I'm up. I got this. Cool. You want to go? You're weak. Let's go. Grab her dad and get the hell out of here. Hey, what was that drug you were about to inject him with? It was potassium chloride. Holy fucking shit. Do you know what it does? They use it overseas. For executions. The doctor was trying to kill her dad? Now that must have been how they killed the old woman. We got to him just in time. Guys, we ain't out of the woods yet. That's the guy from the cafe. Who is he? We're about to have our chance to ask him. He's coming this way. You all just made the biggest mistake of your lives. I hope you know that. Who are you? The director of this facility. And don't play dumb. 
I know what else you know about me. You mean how you're with the Seiryu clan? Yes. I'm Totsuka, from the Ryuto family. The Seiryu clan held its own against the Omi takeover. That made me think you guys must be pretty hardcore. And yet here you are, murdering old people for money. Where's the Yakuza's honor in you? The Seiryu clan is doing what must be done, for the good of society. You have no idea what burden we've taken on. Killing our elders for society's good? Go fuck yourself! You better let all the residents here go free right now! Or I'll tell the whole world what you're really doing here! You're welcome to try. But that would require you to walk out of here alive. And killing you is no inconvenience to me. I've got enough chemicals to melt down all your bodies! You're gonna be so Yeah. Let's go get cocky. That's better. Yeah. I'm up. All right, bring it up. I got this. Don't get caught. Cool. Get serious. Let's go. Ready for this? Caught it. See why? Yeah. Watch this. Uh, oh, that breeze. Yeah. Those that? Don't get caught. Wanna fight? I'm up. I got this. Cool. God damn! Who the hell are you guys? Don't make me say it again! Let all the residents go! I'm afraid I just can't do that. Then we'll do it. We'll move them all out. Shit. It won't open. I activated the emergency lockdown. That door won't open until this time tomorrow. What? You've lost. So stop fighting me. And maybe, just maybe, I won't call the police. I won't explain to them how our home for nice, well-to-do elderly people is being robbed by three thugs. What kind of Yakuza calls the cops? You're a stain on your family. Call me what you want, but if I call the cops, you're done. I suggest you give up and get out. Maybe instead, I'll rat you out. Oh yeah? Uh, Ichiban? Rat him out to who? The Seiryu chairman. We just need to pay him a visit at their HQ. We'll go tomorrow, bright and early, and get the chairman to fix all of this. Don't you fucking dare! This is my business, not the chairman's! If you breathe a word, I'll kill you! So you're that scared of the chairman, huh? So? So, you're coming with me, you spineless worm. Huh? Yeah, you're gonna take me there yourself. 
Because if you refuse to come along, I'm gonna tell the big scary chairman everything you did. And maybe some things you didn't, too. <sighs> I mean, look at yourself. Doing business like this in the name of the Seiryu clan? As a Yakuza, you accept consequences for your actions. So, does this mean we have to go? Listen. Got it.
Okay. Uh, I don't see any guards. That's because no one is stupid enough to try and raid the Serio clan. You set us up. We never grant entry to anyone from other factions. That gate drops like a cattle chute if someone walks through without giving the correct signal. Then, we take our time with the slaughter. Whatever their rank may be in their own herds, we don't give a shit. Where's the chairman? Upper floor somewhere? Perhaps. He'll never reach him. I won't let you get anywhere near his office. Oh, I was really hoping you'd seen the light. Guess we're back to using brute force, boys. I tell you, never a dull day with Ichiban. People better put us in their wills for this. Bring it! You're going down! Okay. 
Okay. Kidding me? How are we supposed to get through? Well, standing around won't solve anything. Let's find another way around. Good, Namba. Coast is clear.
Listen. Hold on. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Gentlemen, get rid of them. Yeah. You're in it now. Don't get cocky. Oh, that's stuff. You wanna fight? Yeah. I got I'm up. this. For mercy now. That's Watch. better. Ass kicking time. You're weak. Don't get caught. <laughs> Feeling good. Else is coming? Pretty weak ambush if you ask me. I bet those idiots wanted to hog the credit for taking out the intruders. Oh, is that what it is? Wouldn't it be easier for them if they all ganged up on us? Nobody climbs the corporate ladder in a group, criminals included. Huh. No wonder I've never been promoted. Should I open it? Got it! I can use this key to open up the safe. I should probably keep an eye out for these safes if I find any more keys.
you into the floor myself! feeling about this. Let's get making the first move and just see how it goes. No begging for mercy now. Where are we going? Huh. Behind us! You're never gonna make it to the German! Uh, uh, <laughs> Holy shit! Hang on! <sighs> I'll get you out of this! <laughs> Hold 
on, Umba. I got you. Uh, uh, hurry. Just a little uh, more. Uh, 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 san Oh, fuck! Enjoy your flight! Number, over here! Adachi! We got him! Now lift! Don't give up! Damn it! Oh, I'm alive!